Over the next 48 hours, I'm gonna show you how to build mind-blowing 3D websites like this one with no code and AI. Probably the best part is that I'm not actually gonna do any of the work myself. So follow me as I break down the exact steps and introduce you to the five tools that you can use to build $10,000 websites today. Welcome back to the studio, my friends. For this challenge, I'm gonna be surprising my mother-in-law. Her name is Alejandra, but everyone knows her as Teacher Ale because she started one of the first English schools in a small town called Ensenada in Mexico. So she's pretty much what you could call an old school influencer. Anyway, she's now retired, but over the past two years, she's started writing children's stories in Spanish. Cuentos de Teacher Ale, which means stories from Teacher Ale. And because people have been loving these stories, she decided to release a book. So I'm gonna create a website to launch her book. I really can't wait to see her face. And believe me when I say that even I was blown away with the end result. Ooh, look at that, looking good. Yeah, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Wow, so cool. Okay, so I know what I wanna build now, but there's one huge problem. I'm currently running two businesses and this YouTube channel, and I simply don't have the time to actually build this out myself. So I decided to hire freelancers on Upwork to do the work for me. And I'm super stoked today because when I had the idea for this video, I reached out to the Upwork team and they accepted to sponsor this video. So thank you so much Upwork. For those of you who have no idea what Upwork is, it is a marketplace where you can hire freelancers. I've used this platform to hire programmers, video editors, designers, and so for this project, I'm gonna be hiring two freelancers who are specialists in specific platforms I'll tell you about in just a moment. But we got lots to cover, so let's jump right in. Now the first step is gonna to be to find a no-code website developer who is specialized in Webflow. For those of you who don't know, Webflow is a website builder. You can use no-code, drag and drop to build beautiful designs. It's created by designers and mostly designers use it because it allows you to build really pixel perfect websites. Okay, so now you can come to Upwork. It's super easy to use. You can click on get started or you can just log in at the top right here and then you can start your search for freelancers i'm gonna go to the top right search and i'm gonna type in webflow website developer so just right out of the gate just by clicking on that as you can see here, it's gonna bring up a bunch of different profiles that I'll start scrolling through. When you click deeper into a profile, you're gonna see that there's a lot of the different elements that you need right out of the gate. This is one of the things that I really love. Now, when I hire people, there are three criteria that are super important to me. The first one is the work. Do they have great work? Do they not? Number two is, are they good to work with? Have other people had a good experience? So I can see that in the ratings and the reviews, past jobs. And then communication, response rate, right? If I send someone a message here on Upwork, how quickly are they gonna get back to me? Then I'm gonna start messaging some of them. So, hey, how's it going? I'm looking for a web developer to send some work to. Are you available? Okay, so I just sent out these messages. Now we're gonna just have to wait and see what they say. Okay, now because I want this website to look like a million bucks, I want to integrate 3D animations. But to create a custom 3D animation that's gonna move and look really awesome as we scroll around on the website, I'm gonna be hiring another Upwork specialist. This freelancer is gonna to have to know how to work with platforms like Spline or Blender. Now, because Spline integrates nicely with Webflow, I'm thinking I'm just gonna go ahead and do a search for Spline specialists. But before we do that, I got some updates from Upwork, so I'm gonna go ahead and check out the profiles because I quickly need to hire this animator. Uh, that's probably the job that'll take the longest. And um, yeah, the Webflow person, let's see what they answered. Maybe we hire them too. Let's go. Okay, so I found this guy. I love his work, so I'm gonna hire him for the job. Check out some of his past work right here. It's absolutely beautiful. So now it's time for me to prepare some materials to give instructions to these freelancers. For that, I'm gonna be using a very powerful AI tool. The name of this tool, my friends, is Reloom. Okay, so this, my friends, is mid-journey. It is probably the uh, AI image generator that is the most powerful. I'm just getting the best results from this specific tool. For this specific project, I'm gonna be going for a style that's a little bit more Pixar, DreamWorks, so this kind of style over here. And the way I usually use Mid Journey is inside of Discord, which is a server. And now we're gonna open up Discord and we're gonna start generating some awesome images. Let's see, there you go. I'm gonna select that one, it's the third one. So I'm gonna say, okay, great, that's the third one. Uh, if I use the V, it's gonna create different versions. If I click on U3, it's then going to just extract that specific one. And so this is what I'm gonna do to generate this first version. I can just do it over and over. I can adapt the prompt that I'm using so I can get closer and closer to the outcome I'm looking for. I can describe the background. I can do all sorts of things here. The goal is to just do this until you basically have uh, the right output. Okay, just a quick announcement to let you know that I also agreed with the Webflow developer and I 
issued the contract, he accepted it. So we are good to go. We've hired both the people we need. Let's go to the next step. Okay, so the next step is gonna be to jump back into Mid Journey, create the additional images that I need for other sections of the website, including six different stories that I have that I'm gonna feature as part of the 18 that are part of this book. Uh, and I'm gonna have a little text written under it. I also need to do a little bit of copywriting for that text in Spanish. And then we're gonna be able to add that stuff to the website and have a solid first version. And yes, I can definitely hire a specialist for this, but I'm actually really wanting to do it myself. So I'm gonna go and continue generating images because it's just fun. Okay, so that actually took a lot longer than I expected. Uh, so take the part where I say do no work because I got a little carried away, but I love this stuff. Um, so let's see what I did and I'm super happy with the results of it. Check them out. These are the six stories that I've decided to feature uh, with images that sort of represent the story itself. Just looks like amazing cartoons. I wish I had this when I was a kid. Okay, it's late over here, so I'm now going to head over to bed, but tomorrow I'm gonna to be able to continue building this out and hopefully we'll get results from our freelancers. And that's gonna be super exciting. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Usually I'm a morning person, not so much today. That's why I'm drinking a little bit of coffee, but I received some emails. I think we got some work from some of the freelancers. I can't wait to go and check it out. So after I've had my breakfast, I'm going to jump into the studio again. Let's go. Okay, so great news. The 3D animation designer came back to me. He started creating these three butterflies. There will be 3D butterflies. And right now he wants me to uh, decide between bodies. So basically we have different bodies. Check this one out. It's the first one. So. This is one format, this is the second butterfly's body, and this is the third one. I think these look pretty good. Um, he started working on the wings already, so he's gonna next send me uh, some work that he's done around the whole thing, kind of having a full 3D butterfly, and we'll be able to give him some more feedback from there. Okay, my friends, super exciting. We have a first version of the butterflies. I just got a message uh, from Upwork, so I checked it out and Demetrio has it. Let's click on this and check it out. This is the first butterfly. It's pretty much a render of the butterfly itself. Looks really cool. Yeah, I'm loving these results. So I'm gonna give him a little bit of feedback. It seems like he's also added a uh, animated version of the, them. So let's check out these three butterflies in action now. Ooh, look at that, looking good. Yeah, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Wow, so cool. Very, very cool. Let's see what we have for the second one. Oh, nice, different color, looking good. Yeah, different shape too. Has a different body, love that. Check out the last one. Oh, again, different shape, different body, different color. Yeah, these three I think will work really nicely. Oh my God, guys, you cannot even make this stuff up. This is just what happens when you do a challenge. I just received a message from my uh, 3D animation guy and he just got into a car accident. Uh, he actually sent me even a, a picture of the car. It looks a little bit wrecked and he has to deal with insurances right now. Uh, now the first most important thing is that he is okay, so don't worry. Uh, I had a little chat with him and everything's good, uh, but that means that we're gonna lose a couple of hours here on the animation side of things, um, which makes me a bit nervous, but hey, this is the name of the game. This is entrepreneurship, so uh, yeah. Let's just keep going and again, the most important thing is that he's all good. So let's, on our end, just advance as much as possible on the website stuff, and then we're gonna be able to, um, yeah, just integrate that last minute and hopefully just yeah, get it all done and dusted. Let's see. But yeah, this is a stressful moment. Let's do it. By the way, I got a little update. It seems like we're back on track with the 3D designer. He has basically uh, dealt with the insurance company. He's a nut. <laughs> you can't invent this stuff. Let's see what this looks like. Beautiful, yeah, so the winds go higher here, which is exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, perfect. Ooh, look at that. That looks exactly like a butterfly. That's how they fly, perfect. Guys, I have some more cool stuff to show you. I just received the first version of the website back from the Webflow developer. It's before we actually integrate the animations, but I'm so excited to show it to you guys. So let me jump in right now, and I'm just gonna give him a couple little details that I want changed. I think we're gonna be pretty ready to now integrate the 3D models. Let me show you the work we've done so far. Oh wow, nice, fancy little animation. This is, by the way, before we input the 3D uh, models that we're creating in parallel. So beautiful. Look at that. Ah, oh, it's magical, it's simple. Stories pop up with a light animation, as you can see here. Really, really beautiful. Oh man, it's all coming together. This is so exciting. Here are the testimonials. People who have already read the book. 
And now I need to like finish some stuff, right? There's some copywriting. I, I didn't do uh, the copywriting for the FAQ section. Uh, we're gonna add the animations, but this is looking beautiful. Super happy with it. Um, I'm gonna just give him a couple little uh, pieces of feedback and then I'm gonna show you the final version when we integrate the 3D models. And now uh, we're gonna be integrating these to the website. So let's go. Ta-da! This is it, my friends. We have the beautiful 3D designs uh, that are in the style of these beautiful Pixar animations. We have an actual three custom uh, 3D animations of these butterflies in different colors. When you scroll down, you see they accompany you down the page, which creates that really magical effect. This is this is very fancy. Um, and uh, yeah, they finally come down here on the book and come and sit on the book. And that's where they stay, uh, which is amazing. Um, scroll a little bit down and we also see the different stories. Uh, you're going to see those appear as well. And the beautiful thing is that when you come at the bottom, we have a last little butterfly animation. This one, you can actually click on it and you can move it around, which is really cool. It kind of gives you a vision of like what this uh, butterfly looks like. Um, but yeah, all super cool. Can't wait to present this to my mother-in-law. I think she's going to be super, super excited. Um, plus, it was free. So for her, this is just a win-win situation. She doesn't even know that I'm doing this. So this is going to be super fun to showcase it. Let's give her a call and now see what she says. Oh, okay. ¿Estás lista? Ale, te voy a compartir la pantalla. This is your new website. I got teacherale.com that I'm going to attach to it. You have the, uh, as you can see, these little butterflies, they will follow you down the website. And there you go. That's the magic of Teacher Ale's website. Wow, Chris. Me encanta, está hermoso. Nunca me imaginé poder tener algo tan bonito y poder enseñarle a toda la gente lo que mi imaginación puede plasmar para enseñarles a los niños. I love it. Yeah, it's your it's your new website. It's going to give uh, honor to all the beautiful stories you're you're creating for kids. And uh, yeah, hopefully some of the people in the audience will also be buying this book in Espanol. And that, my friends, is how you build a beautiful 3D website without any coding skills. But if you'd like to watch me build an AI app in 48 hours or less, then check out this video because I'm going to be doing just that. Go check out the website if you want to buy the book. And definitely check out Upwork if you want great freelancers.